my life changed entirely when I found a goal setting strategy that actually worked for me. And I can almost guarantee that yours will as well. This is the strategy that I use to design my future and achieve every single goal I set for myself. Before we start, I first want you to either get out a piece of paper so that we can structure everything on that piece of paper or because I am so generous and kind and sweet and loving and because I care deeply about you guys and I want to see you win I created a free downloadable template I'm going to link it in the description it is in my stand store so if you would prefer that you can download that and you can either print it or you can edit it on your computer on your phone and we can all practice this goal setting strategy together. I was never the kind of person who had clear goals. I was always the kind of person who would just float around and wonder why my life wasn't going the way I wanted it to go. I don't think I ever fully realized the importance of setting goals. When you don't have clear goals, you keep getting pulled back into the past because you don't know what you want from your future. You don't know where you're going, so it's unfamiliar and it's scary and it's hard. And it is easier to retreat back to the past version of yourself, to your past life, back to the people, the job, the environments that were not serving you because that is where you're your strongest pull is. Your strongest pull is to the past. You don't have anything pulling you into your future. It's not because you want that life. It's not because you want that person. It's not because that was the life that was meant for you. No, it's because you are putting all of your energy and attention on that past version of yourself. You need to start bringing that attention to your future, to your goals, to the life that you are destined for, the life that, in my opinion, God wants you to live. I have been obsessed with Jim Rohn for a really long time. Every single one of his teachings has deeply impacted me. This goal setting strategy is courtesy of him, and it has shifted my life in ways that nothing else has. The first step in this goal setting strategy is to list five things you have already accomplished that you are proud of. We don't often recognize the things that we've already accomplished because we're constantly striving to achieve more. And it's great to strive to achieve more, but if you aren't able to acknowledge your achievements on the way, it's very possible that you're either going to be continually discouraged, you may feel like you haven't made any kind of forward progress whatsoever, or you may never be proud of yourself because that goal is going to continue moving and shifting, which is beautiful. It's beautiful to have big goals, don't get me wrong, but you have to be able to acknowledge the stepping stones and give yourself credit for achieving the things that you've achieved. Even if they're small, and even if they're not something that society would be super proud of you for. It doesn't matter what society thinks, they are your accomplishments and your achievements within your life. It doesn't matter if they would be validated by anybody else. If you are proud of yourself and you can recognize a small step in the right direction, acknowledge that. You're not just gonna jump from here to here. There are small steps along the way to get you here. So the first step is to list five things that you have already accomplished that you are proud of. Show yourself that you are capable of achieving the things that you put your mind to. You've probably already done it. You just haven't taken the time to recognize it. The second step is to write down what you want in the next 10 years. This isn't the time for you to be reasonable or realistic. What do you want? If there were no restrictions whatsoever, what would you want to have? What would you want to achieve? What would you want to accomplish? in the next 10 years. In the template that I made for you, I have 25 different sections for this. Jim says to write down 50. Totally up to you, however many you wanna write down. Don't think too hard about it. Just anything that you would want, write it down. It doesn't have to be practical. It doesn't have to make sense. You don't have to have a logical way of getting there. You want it? you write it down. Once you've written that down, identify what kind of goal that is. Is it a lifestyle goal? Is it a finance goal? Is it a personal development goal? Is it a health and fitness goal? Is it a family goal? Identify what goal it is. After that, identify how long you think it may take you to achieve that goal. One year, three years, five years, or 10 years. The whole point of this exercise is not to be ultra specific. It's literally just to write down anything that comes into your mind that your heart might desire. Anything that you think you want for your life, you write it down here. It does not have to be practical. You wanna be the richest person in the world? Write it down. Even if you're like, oh my gosh, that's unfathomable. First of all, never think that your big goals are unfathomable because you're never going to achieve them if you do. I don't care how big they are, I don't care how scary they are, I don't care how far off you think they are. If you can think it, if you can see it, you can achieve it. This exercise is not for figuring out the how, it is solely for seeing what you want. So each of those things that I listed, we're going to write that down. In the template, I have section A, section B, and section C. Again, however many you wanna write down, write them down. There's no minimum, there's no maximum. This is your life, these are your goals, it is entirely up to 
you. Exercise three is looking at the goals that you marked for one year and choosing the four that you feel are the most important to you. Highlight those or mark them in some kind of way for right now. These ones are your major goals and your other goals remain your minor goals. This is going to help you to focus on the ones that you really really want to accomplish. Doesn't mean that you don't really, really want to accomplish the other ones. It just means that right now in this chapter of your life, these four are your top priority. I want you to also do the same thing for the three year, for the five year, and for the 10 year goals using a different marker, a different highlighter, whatever. Next exercise four, why are these four goals the most important to you? Why do you feel you need to accomplish these? What is the why behind each one of these goals. I've spoken about this before, but if you don't have a why behind a goal, it's going to be a lot harder for you to continue to pursue that goal because you don't have any kind of intrinsic motivation to reach that goal. If you wanna be the richest person in the world, why do you wanna be the richest person in the world? Truly, why do you need to be the richest person in the world? Do you just wanna be the richest person in the world so you can get the recognition, so you can get the validation? Or do you wanna be the richest person in the world because you wanna have all of the resources you can possibly have to give back to people in need? Do you wanna be the richest person in the world so you can buy homeless people houses? So you can create nature preserves with land that's unused? So you can provide underprivileged children with education? If your only reason for wanting to be the richest person in the world is to receive validation, you're not gonna get very far. There is no deep meaning, deep purpose behind that goal. When you don't have that deeper meaning or that deeper purpose, the likelihood of reaching that goal that's gonna take so much effort, so much energy, so much work, so much attention is going to be so low because for what? Who gives a shit about external validation? Who gives a shit if you're on the cover of Forbes? What is that really gonna do for you? If you list these four goals that are most important to you and you can't come up with a why behind those goals, then those goals either A, are not actually that important to you, B, are not actually your goals, or C, are only your goals because you wanna prove something to somebody else. That extrinsic motivation is only going to get you so far. Your why and your purpose for pursuing these goals has to come from within. That was exercise four. Exercise five is list five things that get you excited to wake up every single morning, five things that motivate you, five things that propel you forward, and list five things that drain you, five things that keep you stuck, five things that leave you feeling empty and unhappy. This is going to help you to focus more time and more energy on the things that motivate you and start spending less and less time on the things that drain you. It's important that you're able to recognize these things because making change without recognizing what needs to change is nearly impossible. That's why I'm such a huge advocate for doing a life audit. If you haven't done the life audit yet, I'll also link the Notion template down below. But you do the life audit and you do this goal setting strategy, oh my gosh, and you watch my videos, whew. That is a recipe for success right there, if I do say so myself. Exercise six, this is the last one. Write five paragraphs on the kind of person you will have to become to achieve these goals. What does that person do on a daily basis? How does that person speak? How does that person dress? How does that person act? How does that person treat others? How does that person show up in their own life? Write five paragraphs on the person that you need to become and start making moves to become that person. Be as specific as possible to. You don't wanna leave yourself any kind of room to falter. Adjust your goals as needed, cross your goals off the list, add new goals, add bigger goals. No goal is too big. If you can think it, if you can visualize it, if it is in your imagination, you can create it in your 3D reality. Hopefully the template that I created for you works well. Actually, I know it does because I use it too. If you guys need extra help, I did just open up availability for one-on-one -on -one coaching. I also have that link to my Sam store. If you are really serious about creating a life that you love, I so recommend getting a coach, even if it's just for one month, just to really get you dialed in and on track. As per usual, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, show me some love, follow me on Instagram, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon.